Uh, thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Unfortunately, I'm not a DTM, but anyhow, <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the compliment. Uh, usually, Joseph will be presenting the next speech from the presentation Mastery Path, and this will be the icebreaker. And the purpose will be to deliver a speech on any topic as an introduction to the club using any style that appeals. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Robert Stone. <laughs> Thank you. Yusele mentioned that she elevates conversation by being sincere, enthusiastic, and showing empathy. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Yusele Joseph. Who am I? Who am I? Toastmaster Yusele Joseph. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, good morning and good afternoon. Let me tell you a story that happened to me last Monday. I had a phone conversation with a new member of Amity's Club to answer some question he had regarding Toastmasters International. When he picked up the phone, he told me, before any question about Toastmasters, first, who are you? I was like, what kind of question is that? Even I was a little shocked, I answered the question anyway. And guess what? By answering the question, we spent two hours on the phone talking about life, Toastmasters, studies, fun, and so on. And I realized how great communication and relationship is possible when we know each other. As I want a great relationship with you, here I am, I speak to answer the same question for you. Who am I? Every time I have to answer this question, I remember some specific moment with my parents because this question came up so many times in my childhood that I could not even answer it. Everyone was asked to my parents, who is she? Who is this child? The answers were, well, she's my daughter, my granddaughter, my niece. In spite of strong answer, my parents gave, this question came back again and again. Who is this child? A friend once asked to my mother who she is and don't tell me, tell me that she's your daughter because I know she doesn't. My mother was angry and shocked. She replied, of course she's my daughter because I promised to her dying one that I will be her mother. And let me tell you, she keep her promise. Since this day, this promise gave me enough conviction to be more comfortable with this question. Who am I? And today, I'm comfortable to tell you that I am a proud Asian. I live at port prince right now. I have a bachelor degree in economic sciences, a master's one in project management, and right now I'm a PhD student. Since over seven years, I have been working at a private university 
as academic and administrative assistant for a master's program in public health. And still, who am I? I am the result of my parents' unconditional love. I am shaped by my experiences. I am this woman of faith, patience, and mystery who loves to smile because I believe the smile is the most beautiful jewelry for the face. Kalitos masters and guests, the who or you question can be the easiest or the hardest one to answer, depending on how it makes you feel. And this question will ask to you by yourself or by anyone else during your entire lifetime. But answering it gives you the power to define yourself according to what you want, what you work for yourself and your belief. As my grandmother always told me, even our daily problems, whether you feel depressed, whether you feel very joyful or excited, it is important to always define yourself as the best of the day. So no need to ask you this question, who are you? You know who I am. And I know also that you are the best of the day. We are the best of the day. That's why we are together to enjoy this Toastmaster journey, to share, to learn, and have fun together. Madam Toastmaster of the day.